life for lust. The zeal of thine house hath even eaten me, and the rebukes of them that rebuke thee are fallen upon me. Save me, O God, for the waters are coming even unto my soul. I stick fast in deep fire, where no ground is. I am come into deep waters, so that the floods run over me. I am weary of crying, my throat is dry, my sight faileth me for waiting so long upon my God. They that be without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that are my enemies and destroy me guiltless are my enemies. I pay them the things that I never took. God, thou knowest my sinfulness and my faults are not hid from thee. Let not them that trust in thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my cause. Let not those that seek thee be confounded through me, O Lord God of Israel. And why, for thy sake, have I suffered reproof? I'm sorry. The uh, same shame hath covered my face. I am a stranger unto my brother, even an alien to my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath even eaten me, and the rebukes of them that rebuke me are fallen upon me. I am left in the case of myself to pass me. And I was turned to my reproof. I put on sackcloth also, and they jested upon me. They had sit in the gate to speak against me, and the drunkards make songs upon me. But Lord, I make my prayer unto thee in an acceptable time. Hear me, O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, even in thy truth of thy salvation. Take me out of the mire that I sink not. O oh, let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the world flow drown me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is comfort. Turn thee unto me according to the multitude of thy mercies. And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. O hasty and hear me. Draw nigh unto my soul and save it. O deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all on thy side. Reproach hath broken my heart. I am full of heaviness. I looked for some to have pity on me, but there was no man. Neither found I any to comfort me. They gave me all to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar. Let their table be made a snare to take themselves with all, and let the things that should have been for their well be unto them an occasion of fall. Let their eyes be blinded, that they see not, and never bow down and never pass. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrath or displeasure take hold of them. Let their habitation be void, and no man dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk of how they may vex them whom thou hast wounded. Let them fall from their wickedness to another, and not come to their righteousness. Let them be wiped out of the book of the living, and not be written among the righteous. As for me, when I am poor and in heaviness, my help of God shall lift me up. I will praise the name of God in the song, and magnify it with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord, better than the Lord, and like the Lord's news. The whole shall consider this and be glad. Seek ye after God, and your soul shall be. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despises not his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the sea and all that moveth therein. For God will save Zion, and build the cities of Judah, that men may dwell there, and have it in possession. The posterity also of his servants shall inherit, and they that love his name. The zeal of thine house hath even eaten me, and the rebukes of them that rebuke thee are fallen upon me. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that wish me evil. Haste thee, O God, to deliver me. 
Make haste to help me over it. Let them be ashamed and confirmed with the sea cat of my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion to the mischief of the evil. Let them, for their reward, be soon brought to shame. That cry over me, there, there. But let all those that seek thee to be joyful and glad in thee. And let all the sons of delight in thy salvation say always, The Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor and in misery. Haste thee unto me, O God. Thou art my helper and my redeemer, O Lord, be known to me return. Let them be turned after and put to confusion, and let it be evil. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the enemy. In thee, O Lord, if I put my trust, let me never be put to confusion. But rid me and deliver me in thy righteousness. Incline thy ear to me, unto me, and save me. Be thou my stronghold, wherein to whom I may always resort. Thou hast promised to help me, for thou art my house of defense and my grace. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the ungodly, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel men. For thou, O Lord God, art the thing that I long for. Thou art my help. Even from my youth. Through thee have I been holding up ever since I was born. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of thee. I am become as it were a monster unto men, but my sure trust is in thee. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, that I may sing of thy glory and honor all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of age. Forsake me not of my strength fail of me. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take their counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken me, persecuting me, and taken me, for there is none to deliver me. Go not far from me, O God. My God, haste thee to help me. Let them be confounded with errors that are against my soul. Let them be covered with shame, and dishonor that is easy to do me. As for me, I will patiently abide always, and will praise thee more and more. My mouth shall be able to speak of thy righteousness and thy salvation, for I know no end thereof. I will go forth in the strength of the Lord, and will make mention of thy righteousness only. I do not until now. Therefore will I tell of thy righteousness works. Forsake me not, O God, in my old age when I am gray head until I have shown thy strength unto this generation, and thy power to all them that are yet for to come. The righteousness of God is very high, and great things are made that thou hast done. O God, who is thy unto thee? O what great troubles and adversities thou hast shown me, and yet didst thou turn and refresh me, yea, and broughtest me from the deep of the earth again. Thou hast brought me to great honor, and comforted me on every side. Therefore will I praise thee of thy faith in the God, playing upon an instrument of music. Unto thee will I sing upon the harp, O thou Holy One of Israel. My lips will be glad when I sing unto thee, and so will my soul when thou hast it. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all day long, for they are confounded and brought unto shame that seek to do me evil. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of your God. Here beginneth the lamentation of Jeremiah the prophet. How doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? How is she become as a widow, she that was great among the nations and princess among the provinces? How is she become tributary? She weepeth sore in the night and her tears are on her cheeks. 
Among all her lovers, she hath none to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Judah is gone into captivity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwelt among the heathen. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. The ways of Zion were mourn, because none come to the solace feast. All her gates are desolate. Her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Her adversaries are the chief, her enemies prosper, for the Lord hath afflicted her for the magnitude of her transgressions. Her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. On the night of the fathers, he prayed to the Father, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. The Spirit of thee is willing, but the flesh is me. Watch and pray, that ye enter not into temptation. The Spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And from the daughter of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princes are become like hearts that find no pasture and they are gone without strength before the pursuer. Jerusalem remembered in the days of her affliction and of her miseries all her pleasant things that she had in the days of old, when her people fell into the hand of the enemy and none did help her. The adversaries saw her and did mock at her Sabbaths. Jerusalem hath grievously sinned, therefore she is removed. All that honor her despise her, because they have seen her nakedness. Yea, she is silent, and turneth backward. Her filthiness is in her skirts. She remembered, remembereth not her last end. Therefore she came down wonderfully. She had no comfort. O oh Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy hath magnified himself. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry me here, and watch with me. And I shall exceed in multitude, which shall come about me. Ye shall flee, and I shall be conquered from you. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Ye shall flee. I go to be offered up for you. The adversary hath spread out his hand upon all her pleasant things. For she hath seen that the heathen entered into her sanctuary, whom thou didst command that they should not enter into thy congregation. All her people sigh. They seek bread. They have given their pleasant things for meat to relieve the soul. O Lord, see and consider, for I am become vile. Is it nothing to you, all ye that pass by? Behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow, which is done unto me. Wherewith the Lord hath afflicted me the day of his fierce anger. From above high he sent fire into my bones, and it prevaileth against them. He hath spread a net for my feet. He hath turned me back, he hath made me desolate and faint all the day. The yoke of my transgressions is bound by his hand. They are wreathed and come up upon my head. He hath made my strength to fail. The Lord hath delivered me unto their hands, from whom I am not able to rise up. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return unto the Lord thy God. Oh, we have seen him without form or kindness. His love is gone from him. He hath borne our sins and mourned for us. But we wounded for our transgressions, and his stripes we are healed. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. With his stripes we are healed. Oh, we have seen him without form or kindness. His love is gone from him. He hath borne our sins and borne for us, but we are wounded for our transgressions. With his stripes we are healed.
He shall deliver the poor, as he cried, the needy also, and him that hath no help. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. And it shall be just thy people according to his right, and the fear of the poor. The mountains also shall bring peace, and the little hills righteousness unto the people. He shall keep the simple hope of the right heart, and the children of the poor, and punish his wrong They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure it, from one generation to another. He shall come down like the rain upon him on the grass, even as fast as one of the years. In his time shall righteous flourish, yea, an abundance of peace, so long as the moon endure. His dominion shall be also from one sea to the other, and from the river to the world's end. They that dwell in the wilderness shall kneel before him. His enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tashis and the Hara shall be presence. The kings of Arabia and Sarah shall be his. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. For he shall live the poor when he cries. And he also, and him that hath no help. He shall be favorable to the simple and needy, and shall preserve the souls of the poor. He shall deliver their souls from falsehood and harm, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. He shall live, and unto him shall be given the gold of Arabia. Prayer shall be made ever unto him, and daily shall he be prayed. There shall be a heap of corn in the earth, high upon the hills. The fruit thereof shall shake like lemon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass upon the earth. His name <clears throat> shall endure forever. His name shall remain under the sun among the posterity, which shall be blessed in him, and all the nations shall praise him. Blessed be the Lord God, even the God of Israel, which only doeth wondrous things. And blessed be the name of his majesty forever, and all the earth shall be filled with his majesty. Amen. Amen. He shall deliver the poor when he cried, the needy also, and him that hath no help. They corrupt other, their talking is against the Most High, and speak of wicked blasphemy, their talking is against the Most High. Truly God is loving unto Israel, even unto such as are of a clean heart. Nevertheless, my feet were almost gone. My treads had well on my suit. One, I was grieved with the wicked. I do also see the ungodly in such prosperity. For there I know the peril of death, but I must be the strong. They come in no misfortune like other folk, neither are they plagued like other men. And this is the cause that our day is so full of pride, and cruelty covereth their heads of heart. Their eyes swell with fatness, and they do even what they lost. They corrupt other and speak of wicked blasphemy. Their talk is against the most high. For they stretch forth their mouth unto the heaven, and their tongue go through the world. Therefore, all the people unto them, and there are such they who small Hush, say they, how should God perceive it? Is there knowledge of the most high? Lo, oh, these are the ungodly, these prosper in the world, and now these have riches in possession. And I said, Then I clench my heart in me, and wash my hands in innocence. All the day long have I been punished, and chased into every morning. Yea, and I have almost said, even as they, the blow then should I have condemned the generation of thy children. And then thought I to be substantial. But it was to depart from me until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then understood I the end of these men. Namely, how thou dost set them in slippery places, and castest them down, and destroyest them. Oh, how suddenly do they consume, perish, and come to a fearful end. Yea, even like as a dream of my waking, so shalt thou make their image to vanish out of his eyes. Thus my heart is grieved, and it went even through my ribs. So foolish was I in the end, even as it were a beast before me. Nevertheless,
blessed, I am all made by thee. For thou hast folded me by my right hand. Thou shalt lie in the fight of myself, and I forget to see me before her. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire in comparison unto thee. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that forsake me shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that are unfaithful unto thee. But it is good for me to hold me fast on thou, to put my trust in the Lord God, and to speak of all thy works in the days of the power of the Son. They corrupt others and speak of wicked blasphemy. Their talking is against the Most High. <coughs> Arise, O God, maintain my cause. O God, wherefore art thou absent from us so long? Why is thy wrath so hot against the sheep of thy passion? O oh, think upon thy congregation, who thou hast purchased and redeemed of old. Think upon the tribe of thine inheritance, and Mount Sion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Lift up thy feet, that thou mayest utterly destroy thy men, which have done evil in thy sanctuary. Thine adversaries roared in the midst of thy congregations, and set up their banners for tokens. He that in timber and out of the thick trees was known to bring it to an excellent work. But now they break down all the carved works thereof, with axes and hammers. They have set fire upon thy holy places, and have defiled the dwelling place of thy name, even as the ground. Yea, they said in their hearts, Let us make havoc of them all together. Thus have they burnt up all the houses of God in the land. We see not our tokens, there is not one prophet more. No, not one is there among us that understandeth anymore. For God, how long shall the adversary do this of dishonor? Shall the enemy blaspheme thy name forever? Why is God a star of thy name? Why pluck the star of thy right hand or thy bosom to consume it again? For God is my King of all. The help that is done upon her, he doeth it himself. Thou didst divide the sea through thy power. Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the water. Thou smotest the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gavest him to be the meat for the people of the wilderness. Thou brought us out of the waters of the high rocks, thou driest up mighty waters. The day is thine, and the night is thine. Thou hast prepared the light and the sun. Thou hast set all the waters of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord, how the enemy hath rebuked, and how the foolish people hath blasphemed thy name. Although there are not the soul of thy children of the unto the multitude of the enemies, and forget not the congregation of the poor of her. Look upon the cup, for all the earth is full of darkness and cruel habitations. Oh, let not the simple go away in shame, but let the poor and needy give praise unto thy name. Pray, arise, O God, maintain thine own cause. Remember how the foolish man blasphemeth thee day. Forget not the voice of thy enemies, through the arms of them that hate thee, increase it ever more and more. Arise, O God, maintain my cause. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the ungodly, out of the hand of your righteous and cruel man. A reading from the treatise of St. Augustine the Bishop on the Psalms. Hear my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my petition. Take heed unto me, and hear me. These are the words of one disquieted, in trouble and anxiety. He prays under much suffering, desiring to be released from evil. Let us now see under what evil he lies, and when he begins to speak, let us place ourselves by him, 
that sharing his tribulation, we may join in his prayer. I mourn, said he in my prayer, and am vexed. <clears throat> when does he mourn? When is he vexed? He says, in my prayer. He speaks of the evil men whom he suffers, and that sufferance of evil men he calls his complaint. Think not that the evil are in the world to no avail, or that God makes no use of them. Every wicked man lives either that he may be corrected himself, or that the righteous may be exercised by him. Every wicked man lives either that he may be corrected himself, or that the righteous may be exercised by him. My own familiar friend hath betrayed me with a kiss. Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. This wicked sign he gave, who was here this brought upon my head. O oh, unhappy man, he threw himself down in price of blood, and in the hand to hang himself. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. O oh, unhappy man, he threw himself down the price of blood, and in the end, hanged himself. Would that they who now try it were converted and tried with us. Yet, though they continue to try us, let us not hate them, whether any of them will continue to the end in his evil ways. And mostly, when thou thinkest thyself to be hating thine enemy, thou hatest thy brother, and knowest it not. The devil and his angels are shown to us in Scripture as doomed to eternal fire. Their amendment alone is hopeless, against whom we wage a secret strife. For which strife, the Apostle arms us, say, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, that is, not against men whom we see, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Lest that saying, the world, ye should think, perhaps he says, of the darkness of this world. He says, of the world, that is, the lovers of the world. Of the world that is the impious and wicked. Of, he says, of the world that is the lovers of the world. Of the world that is the impious and wicked. Of the world that is, of which the gospel said, and the world knew him not. Judas is that most wicked traitor, betrayed the world with a kiss. He, like an innocent man, refused not to kiss the Jews, for a few minutes he had delivered Christ to the Jews. It had been better for that man if he had not been born. For a few pence he had delivered Christ to the Jews. For I have spied unrighteousness and strife in the city. See the glory of the cross itself. Now on the brow of kings is placed that cross, which enemies did deride. Effect hath proved to strength. He hath subdued the world, not with steel, but with wood. The wood of the cross being a worthy object of scorn to his enemies, and standing before that wood, they wag their heads, saying, If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. He stretched forth his hands to an unbelieving, and gainsaying people. If he is just who lives by faith, he is unrighteous who has not faith. Therefore, when he saith unrighteousness, understand that it is unbelief. The Lord then saw unrighteousness and strife in the city, and stretched out his hand to an unbelieving and gainsaying people. And yet, Waiting for them, he saith, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. One of my disciples shall be stayed betrayed. Woe unto that man by whom I shall be betrayed. It had been better for that man if he had not been born. He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same is he that shall betray me into the hands of sinners. It had been better for that man if he had not been born. One of my disciples shall this day betray me. 
Woe unto that man by whom I shall be betrayed. It had been better for that man if he had not been born. I said unto the fools, Speak not with a stiff neck. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Yea, unto thee do we give thanks. Thy name also is sung by thee, and that do thy name's works declare. In the appointed time, said God, I shall judge according unto right. The earth is weak, and all the inhabitants thereof. I bear the promise of God. I said unto the fools, Deal not so madly, and to the ungodly, set not up your own. Set up the Lord of my God, and speak not in the sick night. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west, nor yet from the south. And why? God is the judge. He put it down one and set it on the other. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup of the wine is red. It is full mixed that he poureth out of the same. And as for the dregs thereof, all the ungodly thereof shall drink them and suck them out. But I will talk of the God of Jacob and praise him forever. All the horns of the ungodly also will I pray, and the horns of the righteous. I said unto the fools, Seek not the stiff neck. The earth trembled and was still when my God arose to judgment. In Judah is God the true, his name is great in Israel. And Salem is his tabernacle, and his dwelling in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword, and the battle. Thou art glorious in Zion, when thou comest from the hills of the robbers. The proud have, are robbed, they have slept their sleep, and all the men whose hands were mighty have found nothing. And thy beauty, O God, and Jacob, both the chariot and horse are the father. Thou, even thou art to be feared, and who may stand in thy sight when thou art angry. Thou didst cause thy judgment to be agreed with him. The earth trembled in the soul. When God arose to judgment and to help all the meek upon earth, the fiercest of men shall turn into my grace, and the fiercest of them shall turn into my Promise unto the Lord your God and keep it, all ye that are round about him. Bless this unto him that ought to be feared. He shall have framed the spirit of praises, and is wonderful among the kings of the earth. The earth trembled and was still when God arose to judgment. In the time of my trouble, I saw the Lord. I will cry unto God with my voice, even unto God will I cry with my voice, and he shall hearken unto me. In the time of my trouble, I saw the Lord. I stretched forth my hands unto him, I see not that I see my soul when I am in heaviness, I will think upon God. When my heart is vexed, I will complain. Thou art also when I am speaking. I am so feeble that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old and the years that are past. I call to remembrance my son, and the night I commune with my own heart, and search out my spirit. Will the Lord have sent himself forever? And will he be no more entreated? In his mercy, clean love forever, and his pride is unholy to an enemy forevermore. Hath God forgotten to be gracious? And will he shut up his loving kindness in his pleasure? And I said, It is my own infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Lord's eyes. I will remember the works of the Lord, and call to mind the wonders of old time. I will think also of all thy works, and my tongue shall be of thy doings. Thy way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art a God that doest wonders, and hast declared thy power among the peoples. Thou hast mightily delivered thy people, even the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw thee, O God. The waters saw thee and were afraid. But that is also for trouble. Clouds poured out water, the air flooded, and thine arrows went abroad. The voice of thy thunder is heard around about, the light and shone upon the ground. The earth was moved and shook in the wall. Thy way is in the sea, and thy paths in the great water, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou hast thy people like sheep, thy hand closes to In the time of my trouble, 
I sought the Lord. But rise, O God, maintain my A reading from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. <clears throat> now in this I declare unto you, I praise you not, that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when ye come together in the church, I hear that there is divisions among you, and, and I partly believe it. But there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's supper, for in eating every one ta ta taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? There be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's supper, for in eating every one ta ta taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. I was like a lamb that is innocent. I was brought to the slaughter. And I knew it not. My enemies have taken counsel against me, saying, Come, let us put wood into his bread, and let us root him out of the land of the living. All my enemies have thought evil things against me, and have spoken against me, saying, Come, let us put wood into his bread, and let us root him out of the land of the living. For I have received the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death until he come. Could ye not watch with me one hour, who were ready to die for me? Or see you not Judas, how he sleepeth not, but hasteneth to deliver me off to the Jews? Why sleep ye? Arise and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Or see ye not Judas? How he sleepeth not, but hasteneth to deliver me up to the Jews. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Let every man examine himself, and lo, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, 
when ye come together to eat. Tarry one for another, and if any man hunger, let him eat at home. But ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I send in order when I come. The elders of the people took counsel how they might take Jesus by subtlety and put him to death. They went out as against the thief with swords and staves. Mayst thou be justified in thy saying, and clear without our choice. Have mercy upon thee, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away my offenses. Wash me truly for my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy sin, and clear when thou shalt judge. Behold, I was shaken in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But lo, thou art shrewd in the inward parts, and shall make me to understand wisdom secretly. Thou shalt purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear of joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sin, and put out all my misdeeds. May me hear of thee my own life, and rejoice my spirit within me. Cast me not away from my presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O give me the comfort of thy self again, and establish me with thy free spirit. Then shall I teach thy ways unto the wicked, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God. Thou art the God of my path, and my tongue shall sing of thy righteousness. Thou shalt open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall show thy praise. For thou desirest to sacrifice, else will I give it thee, but thou desirest not and good offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart of God, shalt thou not despise. O be favorable and gracious in this land, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the burnt offerings of oblations. Then shall they offer your bullocks upon thine altar. Mayest thou be justified in thy saying, and it clear when thou art judged. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and he opened not his mouth. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or had the earth and the world were made, thou art God. man to destruction. Again thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in my sight are but as yesterday in his past, and as a watch in the night. As soon as thou scatterest them, they are even as asleep, and fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green nor above, but in the evening it is cut down, and out of the wind. For we consume away in thy displeasure and are afraid of thy wrathful indignation. Thou hast our enemies deeds before us in thee, and our secret sins in the light of thy mountains. And when thou art angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end, as it were a tale that is told. The days of our age are three square years and ten, and though the enemy so strong that they come to be four score years, yet in their strength and yet with the labor of that sorrow. So soon passeth away, and we are gone. But who regardeth the power of thy wrath, or feareth a right by indignation? So the teacher does not know our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Turn thee again to the Lord at the last, and be gracious unto thy servants. O satisfy us with thy mercy, and thy sin, so shall we rejoice as we are all the days of our life. Comfort us again now after the time that thou hast plagued us, and for the years wherein we have suffered adversity. Show thy servants thy work, and thy children thy glory. And the glory
glorious majesty of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper thou the work of our hands upon us. O oh, prosper thou our handiwork. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and he opened not his mouth. Broken, all my bones shake. My heart showeth me the wickedness of the ungodly, that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own sight, and tell us of our own sins to one another. The words of his mouth are unrighteous and full of deceit. He hath left off to behave himself lightly and to do good. He imagineth mischief upon his bed, and hath set himself in no good ways. Neither doth he abhor anything that is in good. Thy mercy, O Lord, reacheth unto the heavens, and thy faithfulness unto the clouds. For my justice set up on the strong arms, thy judgments are like the great deed. Thou, Lord, shalt save both man and beast. How excellent is thy mercy, O God! And the children of men shall put their trust under the shadow of thy name. They shall be satisfied with the plenteousness of thy house, and thou shalt give them great and the of pleasures, as thou art worthy. For with thee is the wealth of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue forth thy love and kindness as a good and like newly, and thy righteousness as a good and like true of O let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the ungodly cast me down. There they may follow all that work wickedness, and they are cast out, and she shall not be able to stand. My heart within me is broken, all my bones shake. Thou hast encouraged us in thy power, O Lord, and in thy holy confession. I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse in his rider hath he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is the hand of war. The Lord is his Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he's cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths yes. are covered him. They sink in the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed the enemy, the, the, dashed in pieces the enemy. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, the Lord of forms, fearful and praises? Doing wonders. Thou stretched out thy right hand, the earth swallowed. Thou in thy mercy hast led forth the people, which thou hast to thee. Thou hast added in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. Thou shalt bring them in, and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance. In the place which thou hast made for thee to dwell in, in the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands hast established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Thou hast encouraged us in thy power, O Lord, and in thy holy reflection. He was made an offering because he himself desired it, and himself bare our sins. Praise the Lord, for it is a good thing to sing praises unto our God. Yea, a joyful and pleasant thing it is to be thankful. The Lord of the love of Jerusalem. And gather together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth those that are broken in heart, and giveth medicine to heal their sickness. He telleth the number of stars, and calleth them in all of their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his power. Yea, and his wisdom is infinite. The Lord said to the Holy and praise and God that God to the ground. O sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises upon the heart unto our God. Who cover the heaven with the clouds, and prepare the rain for the earth, and make it the grass grow upon the mountains, and bird for the use of men. Who giveth fodder unto the cattle, and feedeth the young ravens that call upon him? He hath no pleasure in the strength of a horse, and the blood of the enemy in man's days. But the Lord's delight is in them that fear him, and put their trust in his mercy. Praise the Lord of Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath made fast the bars of thy gates, and hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, 
and fell feet the flower of the weed. He setteth forth his commandment upon her, and his word runneth very swiftly. He giveth us no light of rule, and scattereth the poor for us like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels. Who is able to abide his cross? He setteth out his word and not to none. He bloweth with his wind, and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and ordinances unto Israel. He hath not the soul of the nation, not have they been the knowledge of his laws. He was made an offering because he himself desired it, and himself bare his sins. My own familiar friend whom I trusted, who do also need my bread, have they been great weight for Now he that betrayed you gave them a sign, saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that same seed, hold him fast. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all our days, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge and salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sin in our lives, and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Christ became obedient for us unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath promised us all, and given the name of his Lord. Given up into the hands of wicked men, and to suffer death upon the cross. 